members of the channel, Messiah Revelation Ministry, uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel and share this video. Uh, this video is a prophetic commentary on the mark of the beast. A lot of people joke about the mark of the beast. Uh, they consider that as part of a conspiracy theory. Uh, some people even regard the whole book of Revelation as conspiracy theory. The mark of the beast is real. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave a revelation to Apostle John over 2,000 years ago about, about the mark of the beast. On September the 3rd, 2017, I also had a vision about the mark of the beast. In that vision, uh, some people were following me and when they got to me, they told me that they had been monitoring me and they, uh, they saw that I didn't have the mark. And so I need the mark uh, in order to uh, practice my business. And they charged me $100. And I could see that everybody uh, had the mark. And if you didn't have uh, have the mark, then you cannot practice uh, your business. Then I woke up. So from that vision, uh, I concluded that um, the mark of the beast is real. And those people who came to me were asking for my ID for them to use it to produce a barcode that I could use um, as um, a license to practice. It's also important to note that they quoted um, the fee for the mark um, to be $100 American currency. Symbolically, it shows that the mark of the beast will be enforced globally. And I can also conclude that the United States the nation that um, has the dollar currency will be vital in the implementation of the mark of the beast. From that vision, I can also conclude that if you don't have the mark of the beast, not only can you not buy or sell, you can also not practice uh, your business. Um, fast forward. 2020 COVID-19, um, I read a report that a woman in the United States who owns a hair salon um, was jailed uh, because uh, she was found to have violated the lockdown order. So you saw that even the United States, the so-called um, democracy uh, in the world, um, they are enforcing the laws and in the same way they will enforce the laws about the mark of the beast. Um, now as a result of technology, advancement in technology, you, you can see that we are very close to the implementation of the mark of the beast. Uh, what form will it take? Uh, in the vision, I saw that those guys were asking for my ID to be used in producing a, back, a, a barcode that um, I can use or to practice my business. But I'm not saying that the mark of the beast will be a barcode. Uh, it will actually take a form that will be universal. And currently you can see that the agents of the New World Order, they are agitating for vaccination and they are also including a chip system in the vaccination. Um, will the mark be a chip? Uh, possibly it could and the, the technology is there, the RFID technology is there, it can be improved.
um, to um, form the basis for the technology for the mark of the beast. Um, fast forward 2020, we can also see that um, the agents of the new world order will create a global calamity, a, cast, a catastrophe uh, or a pandemic uh, that will um, be a catalyst for the implementation of the mark of the beast. Um, who will enforce the mark of the beast? Definitely it will be the false prophet who will cause everybody uh, in the world, rich and poor, um, small and big, um, from every nation uh, to accept the mark of, of the beast. But the Antichrist um, will rely on a system that is ready to help him to enforce the mark of the beast. And governments will do that. Uh, governments will enforce the mark of the beast. And I will use two nations as an example uh, to describe how governments in the world will enforce the mark of the beast. I will use the United States. Uh, you see President Trump has announced that he's going to use the military to distribute vaccines for COVID-19. And he has set a target date, December 2020 or, or uh, at latest uh, January 2021. Yes, uh, President Trump has said that he's going to use American army to distribute uh, vaccination uh, throughout the United States. So if the U.S. is going to do that, uh, then it's possible that every nation will do that. Uh, also, um, discuss Nigeria. Uh, in Nigeria, uh, there was an introduction of a bill in Nigeria's um, legislature. Uh, the name of the bill is Compulsory Vaccination Bill. Even when they have not found a cure for COVID-19, some lawmakers in Nigeria uh, had the audacity to introduce a bill, Compulsory Vaccination Bill. Um, that will be um, a bill, if it is signed, then it will force every Nigerian to um, be vaccinated. The question we ask our service, what is in the vaccination? What will be the implication of the, vaccin uh, the vaccination? You realize that a lot of vaccination have caused uh, problems, um, sterilization, and infertility, even deaths. But the vaccination related to the mark of the beast system or the antichrist system uh, will not cause the death that we are talking about. It will cause a spiritual death. Um, those who accept the mark of the beast will be tormented. Uh, they will be cast into the lake of fire. Uh, the mark of the beast is very critical uh, for salvation. And so if you look at the book of Revelation, uh, you can see that um, the Lord is very particular about the mark of the beast. Um, if you look at Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 to 10, uh, there will be a special angel who will be dispatched by God to all nations to warn people not to accept um, the worship of the beast, the Antichrist, or accept the mark of the beast. So a special angel, three angels will be sent. One will preach the everlasting gospel. Uh, you have to accept Jesus Christ as, as our Lord and Savior and accept God's message of salvation. The second angel will also uh, warn about the demise, the fall of Babylon. And the third angel will warn people not to accept the mark of the beast. So the mark of the beast is very, very critical. Um, it's a line. Uh, if you cross the line, 
uh, you will go to hell. If you accept the mark of the beast, you will be cast into the lake of fire. That's why the Lord will send a special angel uh, to warn people not to accept the mark of the beast or to worship the Antichrist and his image. If you look at Revelation chapter 16, verse 1 to 2, you also realize that there are seven angels who will pour God's wrath on earth. Uh, the tribulation will go through. Um, it will be the tribulation that is initiated by the Antichrist. But apart from that tribulation, the great tribulation, there will be God's wrath. Seven angels will pour God's wrath on earth. And guess, guess um, what will happen? The first angel who will pour God's wrath will pour it on those who worship the Antichrist or accept the mark of the beast. If you read Revelation chapter 16, verse 1 to 2, Revelation chapter 16, verse 1 to 2, uh, God's angel will pour uh, God's wrath on those who accept the mark of the beast. And so uh, you realize that God will give a warning before pouring the wrath. And the warning is given in Revelation chapter uh, 14, verse 9 to 10. And then the angel of the Lord will pour God's wrath on those who accept the mark of the beast or worship the Antichrist or his image. And what happens? Uh, what will happen is that um, those who accept the mark of the beast, uh, they will suffer sores, incurable sores on their body. They will be tormented. So they will suffer physical pain. And so that is the commentary on the mark of the beast. It's very, very critical to the standard the Lord will send a special angel to warn people not to accept the mark of the beast. And after the warning, an angel will pour God's wrath on those who accept the mark of the beast. They will be infected with uh, sores on their body. Their bodies will get rotten. They will suffer. And they will eventually die. On the day of judgment, they will be resurrected for judgment. And of course, they will be cast into the lake of fire. This is the time for you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and lead a life that is worthy so that you can stand before the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and escape all these things, the wrath that is coming. Please don't worship the Antichrist. Don't worship his image and don't accept the mark of the beast. This is Messiah Revelation Ministry spreading the word of the Lord to all the four corners of the earth. Subscribe to this channel and share this video. Thank you.